Hi, this is Frank Raddus, and this is the Red Touch Media continuing series on the future of content. And I'm with Sean Compton, the president of programming for Tribune. Sean, tell me a little bit about the future of Tribune and what you guys are up to these days. Well, unlike um, kind of a traditional broadcast group where most broadcasters have been for many years of leasing product, we are becoming a group that's um, not only developing product in partnerships with other studios, but expanding our local presence as well as getting a footprint in the syndication business. For years, broadcasters would air their local news and that's all they owned. Now, you know, there are partnerships that, you know, um, like NAPD is a time to get together and talk about what you're going to partner on in the true sense of a partnership versus I lease a program, it doesn't work, we cancel it after a year, or you lease a program and it works and you have to pay more next year. Um, you know, now it's, it's, we're putting skin in the game and, and having a, a, a real say at the table. So you'll own the programming, basically? With partners. I mean, there are some shows we own 100% of. There are some shows we own, you know, portions of. Um, but we now, one of the beauties that we've discovered with having uh, a say in the programming is that we have the ability to market and, and really give a big push behind the shows that are going to launch. So when Arsenio Hall launched for us back in fall of 2013, we had a hell of a start, a huge start with that show because we promoted the heck out of it. We have, you know, we have ownership in that show. We we have, um, you know, managers and, and programmers who are passionate about seeing it succeed. Certainly, one of the keys to success of any program is reach and frequency of the promotional message. You guys have a real unique opportunity in the size and scope of what Tribune brings to the table. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I mean, any priority we have, we'll put the, you know, our creative folks will put as much uh, lift behind it as needed to, you know, take it over the top. I mean, we have uh, WG in America, our cable network, which is doing original programming. We can use our station platform to promote that. Um, How many stations are in that? We have uh, now 43 stations in uh, 33 markets, and um, it's you know obviously a gigantic footprint, uh, largest broadcaster of television stations in the United States. And every one of the major cities in the top 10 DMAs, every one of the top 15 DMAs. We're we're in uh, seven of the top 10. We're we're not in Atlanta, we're not in Boston, and we're not in San Francisco. So this is a new paradigm, basically, for a station group to go out and do something like this. Now, you also are involved in uh, the digital marketing of these pro programs. Are you creating second screen experiences for these programs? Are you going into the production of them with that in mind? It, it depends on the show. There's not a one-size-fits-all. You know, we own a conflict talk show, a daytime show called The Bill Cunningham Show. There's no real second screen experience. There, there's, some, there's some interesting applications with you know, social networking, but um, uh, that, that you could, you know, use to help promote viewers to the show. Uh, but then you, at the other side, you have something like Arsenio or some of the other shows we're developing that you do have those experiences um, to, you know, like uh, this show that uh, Matt Chernis at WG in America is launching Salem. Uh, has the trailer up. Uh, it launches in April. It has the trailer up. It's promoting the show. Um, you know, special sneak peek clips. Uh, yeah, so it just depends on, obviously, the show. There's, there's not a one-size-fits-all mentality to this company, which we're all grateful for. That's an interesting concept about the Salem Witch Trials, I think. And, and um, is that a concept that was brought to you, or it was a concept that you took out there, or how did that process work? Yeah, that was really Matt uh, and John Wax's project from WG in America, and I don't know if it came to them, I, th I think it did, and they they liked it. Um, I, you know, I uh, I was not involved in that other than uh, excited about you know talking to them about it and seeing their passion behind it. And I think it'll make a big difference for the network. That'll be our first scripted original series on that cable network in the history of that network that that was exclusive to G in America. I mean, you know, years ago you had some shows like Andromeda and, and other series, but this will be 
the first exclusive original series that they're putting on that network. Now, I understand, you're, are you considering other network type launches? Uh, for GN America, I mean, well, we, we, have, uh, well, we have two digital networks, one that we oversee with MGM, and then one we own completely, uh, Antenna TV. So, you know, we were a cable network and a, a cable superstation and a handful of TV stations. Now we're a large group of TV stations, uh, a, super, a cable superstation, and we've launched these other networks. Antenna TV is a classic television network that's cleared in 70% of the US. It has uh, television shows. Um, I mean, some of the lineup includes uh, Three's Company, Dennis the Menace, uh, Burns and Allen in Late Night, Jack Benny, uh, uh, Sanford and Son, Good Times. So it's a classic network, no paid programming allowed, 24 hours a day you tune in, you catch a classic show. Everything from uh, Gidget and the Monkeys to, like I said, Three's Company and Maud. And then you have, um, uh, in addition to that network, this TV, which is a movies channel. Uh, with, that's, the MGM deal. that's fueled by MGM titles, and uh, we have a lot of Sony titles and, and some other studios we license movies with. So for over the air, in 70% of the U.S., and, and, and we have a lot of cable coverage on those shows as well, but certainly over the air, the experience for a traditional over the air viewer uh, that's done the cord cutting at home, these networks have given you know these individual homes choices that you know once were five or six choices on television, and now 12, 14, 15 choices. Do you um, upconvert, or are you uh, showing these programs in, in SD? These are all in SD because we want to use, we, they don't look right. I mean, these, you know, we, we have like Law & Order on WG in America, that is upconverted, that's in uh, high def experience. But, you know, Dennis the Menace on a over the air antenna or through the cable looks fine in standard def. It doesn't make sense to use up your spectrum to upconvert Dennis the Menace to HD. Right. Are you having a good time as a, the head of programming at Tribune? Yes, and that job is actually probably the, the, the most entertaining part of the day is getting to spend a few minutes on Antenna TV because we don't have the pressures of Nielsen. You don't have the pressures of ratings. You know, you, a lot of the programming on that network is um, based on viewer feedback, the catalog we have, events, uh, one of the members of the Partridge family passed away a couple weeks ago. We did a Partridge ma uh, family marathon. When Davy Jones passed away, we did a Monkeys marathon. When uh, it was the anniversary coming up of Three's Company, we're going to do an anniversary of Three's Company marathon. I mean, it's a fun network to program. That's fantastic. Sean Compton, the head of programming for Tribune. This is Frank Radis. See you next time.